वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्वागत है आपका फिर से एक बार रितुज मैथमेटिक्स चैनल में तो आप लोगों का सबसे पहले तो मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगी क्योंकि मेरी एक वीडियो है मैथमेटिक्स सिंबल्स की जिसने हंड्रेड के व्यूज क्रॉस कर लिए हैं सो थैंक यू सो मच इस परिवार में बने रहने के लिए जो पहली बार इस वीडियो को देख रहे हैं उनसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि इसको अभी सब्सक्राइब कर दें और बेल आइकन को प्रेस कर दें फॉर नोटिफिकेशन तो आज की इस वीडियो में मैं डिस्कस करने वाली हूँ लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स चैप्टर पे बेस्ड एक्टिविटी जो कि आप क्लास में करवा सकते हैं इफ यू आर अ टीचर इफ यू आर अ स्टूडेंट यू कैन प्रेजेंट इट एंड यू विल गेट अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द एंगल्स रिलेटेड टू द ट्रांसवर्सल सो चलिए देखते हैं एक्टिविटी आज की सो लेट सी एक्टिविटी विच इज बेस्ड ऑन लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स एंड द टॉपिक वुड बी एंगल्स मेड बाय ट्रांसवर्सल सो फॉर दैट वट वी हैव टू डू basically we have to examine the properties of pairs of angles when parallel lines are cut by a transversal so we will draw parallel lines and we'll cut by a transversal what is required to do this activity so we require drawing sheet sketch pens pair of scissors geometry box a3 sheet or chart paper wherever you want to paste it or as if uh, like a glue and thermocol or a cardboard whatever you want to give it a look then how much time is required to do this activity approximately 30 to 40 minutes are required then what do you need to know you should be aware about these topics that is parallel lines supplementary angles transversal and types of angles made by transversal how will you proceed it so you will make a pair of parallel lines which will cut by a transversal and mark angles as shown in the figure in this figure like this so you will make a figure on a drawing sheet like this uh, and take uh, like take the compass to make these angles so you will uh, do like this basically take put your compass uh, put your compass on this vertex and then make the arc like this and with the same uh, like compass make the another arc also okay so do this way uh this would give you a proper uh, like uh, angle formation so after this after making this figure what you have to do uh we'll cut out one of the corresponding angles and paste on the other as shown in this figure you can see the figure the green color angle is the angle 1 and the orange one is angle 2 so you will cut out both the angles and then you will paste like half of the part of the angle 2 over it and if you will observe it now it would completely overlap it that means they are equal then next one would be cut out one of the alternate interior angles so in the given figure number 1 you can see the alternate interior angles are angle 2 and angle 3 you can take any other pair also by making more angles in this figure so for now i'm just taking these many angles only so if you want the same angles which i'm taking for that what you have to do you have to uh, take one more drawing sheet and do this uh, like figure one again now if you just observe this figure 3 uh, angle 2 and angle 3 so we are just uh, checking are they coming like overlapping each other or not so if you observe now they will overlap each other and that means they are equal and they are known as alternate interior angles then draw a straight line and arrange the cutouts of co interior angles as shown in this figure so co interior angles if you check in the given figure uh, the first figure that is angle 2 and angle 4 so if you will just put it it would give you a straight angle that is a 180 degree so now the cutouts which you had made in figure 2 figure 3 figure 4 and the previous figure so what i'll suggest na uh, either you can take a3 sheet or a chart paper as i told you like what is required during that time so on that uh, like uh, after like taking suppose i'm taking a chart pa chart paper after taking a chart paper what you have to do the cutouts of figure 2 3 and 4 you have to paste either on thermocol or cardboard and then paste that thermocol or cardboard on the chart paper okay like this uh, do this activity it would give you a better view so 
observing these things what we can say here from this figure what observations we did angle 2 angle 2 completely overlaps this angle number 1 right so angle 2 completely overlaps angle 1 so that means what we can say here therefore corresponding angles are equal so angle 2 completely overlaps uh this i'll just write over there also so completely overlaps this angle 1 so therefore we can say corresponding angles are equal so this is our observation now similarly dash completely overlaps the sec the third figure which we took in that part if you observe our angle 2 and angle 3 completely overlaps so here what we'll do we'll just uh, write angle 2 and angle 3 i'll just write 2 over here and 3 okay i'll just put the symbol of angle this is angle 2 and this is angle 3 okay so angle 2 completely overlaps angle 3 so what we can say here so they are alternate interior angles that's why they are overlapping and the third observation was dash plus dash was giving us straight angle so what two angles were giving us the straight angle angle 2 plus angle 4 right so 2 and angle 4 correct so these two angles angle 2 and angle 4 they were giving us 180 degree so that's the reason we can say they are co interior like therefore co interior angles are supplementary so these observations we did uh, from figure 2 3 and 4 so its real life applications are also there the, the above concept which i discussed it used in painting drawing sports making buildings clock etc so at so many uh, like in so many things uh, there is a usage of uh, this lines and angles concept so this is all about Uh, an activity based on lines and angles you can just uh, create figure number 1 and take cut outs from it and uh, like check out the overlaps and paste it in the chart paper uh, like clearly uh, so that it would give you a better view and it will uh, like give you a better understanding about it so this is about uh, today's video thank you so much for watching